the nice thing about uh, the trail mods flare is that whatever the trail might be, either rocks, trees, mud, whatever, uh, these flares often get ripped off, tore off, uh, dented, dinged, and the concept is that when you get to the trail, right now you're in the road or the cruising mode, and within just a matter of minutes, uh, you can take the flare by, re by releasing the tabs that secure the flare on, and then just in a matter of minutes, you're done and you're ready to go on the trail uh, without any chance of damaging your flare or leaving it on the trail hung up on a tree or a great big rock takes it off. So you have complete clearance of your tires and then when you're done wheeling, then there's a process of putting the, the flare back on and you're road legal. Brent gives us a quick review of the install process. The first thing that we do uh, is you remove all the OEM or stock flares. You need a, a nut cert wrench. There's different various kinds, but just make sure that the threads match up to what uh, the certs that are given in the kits. If you look here on the flare, there are the open holes where the certs go, and there's no drilling of the frame, which makes it just, uh, just so easy. You put the frame in place and you go, okay, well, we know we need one here, so, so you put the wrench in and you squeeze it and then you back it out. Uh, once you have the nut certs into the frame of the Jeep in the three places, you're ready to put the inner flare on the Jeep. Um, it has the factory clips that take up the holes that uh, are there uh, by the manufacturer. But if you start from the back and uh, just finger, finger start them, then you just push and have that clip in, then just using either a little ratchet end or an open end, uh, you can get up in there and put that nut on. Um, and so when you get to the trail, you look like this. Uh, when you're running the trail and when you're done with the trail, these uh, tabs, um, there's uh, the tabs, there's a little trough that sits on the flare here and that trough is the receiver end of the flare itself. And so once you have the flare, there's little holes that these tabs that you feed down through and you reach down through there with those tabs and working from front to back, pull on the tabs, each one of them nice and snug. And once that's seated down in there, on the underside of the, of the flare, there's a little post. And you take each of those tabs and you just pull it like a bungee and you snap it, each one, around the post in the six different positions and you're on, ready to go street worthy.